Hello friends, today we will discuss macro in 8086. So basically a macro is sequence of instructions assigned by name and could be used anywhere in the program. So basically uh, we can tell that a macro behaves like a function in a program and we can use that macro again and again in our program. This is the syntax of our macro. First one is macro name, this is variable. You decide whatever name you have to give. The second one is macro, M-A-C-R-O, this is a keyword. You, ha you must have to give this keyword, uh, macro as a keyword. And uh, parameters you can name your macro, anything you can give as parameters. Suppose you are reading a number, you can give number as parameters. I told already that uh, it basically behaves like a function. But it is little different from the function because uh, it will only be executed if you call your macro in your code segment that is if you call in your program then it will be executed otherwise it will be left untouched or we can tell compiler will ignore it this is macro body where we can define our macro instructions and at last you have to use one keyword int m this is for ending your macro this is to represent that your macro is ending there this is a sample example you can see that i have uh, written here read macro num read is my macro name macro is a keyword we have to include this macro keyword in every macro number is my parameter because i am reading a key from keyword this is read uh, this is a code to read a character in which i am reading suppose i am reading a number so i have passed number as parameter but you can give any parameter here uh, this is variable this parameter is variable and read read is my macro name this is also variable only keyword is macro so but when suppose i have a specified read here and when i will be using this macro then i have to use read to call my macro in code segment you can see here this is code to read a character move here 0 1 in 21 h and in ms to represent my macro is ended here in c programming we include header files in our program like has include a standard io.h or conio.h whatever the similar way we can include our defined macro this read macro read is my defined macro Note here that uh, save your file, whatever macro you are creating, save file as extension .msc so that and uh, this is the way to include, include your macro in your program, include, just define the path of that macro, c is my root directory, I have saved 8086 in my c drive, so I am passing this path, c, masm and inside that I am passing mac my mm, macro because I have saved in that path. So just include, use a keyword include and pass that path. Your macro will be included in your program. You can call that macro in your program. Like if you use simply read, then your macro will be called in your program.